Hey people, it's Dragon Lord Frodo here. Ugh, haven't been feeling too too good in the last few days. Um, I actually did a video Thursday night. Um, but I didn't upload it. Um, I'm not sure if I am going to upload it. Um, I had a, a phone call uh, with my mom, with my mom's, uh, on Thursday, I believe it was, and it was just her, like, just going off on me about me talking about uh, the rich uncle and all that, just going on and on and on, and... I ended up recording that conversation because I record every phone call that I uh, that I get or um, make. It just auto records. But I made a video um, on Thursday where I played a, the um, the phone call, and then I keep stopping it, and then I. Um, and then I refute each one of these claims. Apparently, uh, one of the um, claims that my mom made was that when I went to Toronto on my own, she said I made a, a two-hour video. It was actually seven-hour video um, of me eating. It was, it was two hours straight of me eating in Toronto. And I have to, I have to, um, like, I, like, I, like, I dispute that because, okay, so there's, there's a couple times where I'm eating in that video, but she doesn't see the, the, the part where I, uh, where I'm walking through Chinatown. She doesn't see the part where I go to the Harry Potter bar. She doesn't see the part where... I'm at the CN Tower. She doesn't see the part where I'm walking up up and down Young Street. She doesn't see the part where I'm uh, walking through Union Station. She doesn't see the part where I'm, I'm filming throughout the subways. Um, no, but of course, two hours of me eating. Um... So, I'm not going to get into that. I don't even know if I'll upload that. Only because I really don't want the drama. Um, but, um... But that's not what I want to talk about. Um... I have some, um, I'm going to reveal some things that will make my parents and my rich uncle even more mad, okay? If you, if they thought that me saying Benderson on a video got them mad, oh boy, this will top it all. So, um, I've been hiding the fact that... Uh, so here's how, here, here, here's, here's this big reveal, okay? I've been hiding the fact that I'm looking for a job for my parents and my rich uncle because I don't want my rich uncle finding out that I work. Um, to be honest, I don't work right now, but I am actively finding a job. Um, right after I pulled a knife on my mom, I had a job for about two weeks uh, in Niagara Falls. Um, cleaning uh, the Goodyear plant, but I had to quit that. It wasn't like it wasn't like a like a uh, what do you call it? it? Wasn't like an angry quit. It was a quit because I didn't think I was. I I just didn't really feel very comfortable in the job. And by that I meant um, I just felt like um, like I would have to take the bus to uh, like. I explained this. I had to, I would have to take the bus and get off right after the Grand Island Bridge and then walk like a mile and a half. Uh, it, it was a straight walk pretty much, but, uh, you know, in the wintertime it would get pretty bad. So, 
Plus, um, you know, I just really, I just really didn't, I really, I just really didn't feel like I was cut for the job, to be honest. It was just a lot of hazards, and it was just, I, like, I almost, I almost hurt myself, like, within the first day, because, um, because the, uh, the boss was trying to show me how to use a, a floor scrubber, and I couldn't get the hang of it, okay? Like, it was like this thing, it looks like a, uh, what do you call it, um, I don't know what it, but it's this thing that, it's just like a thing that goes like this, and then there's a, a disc, and you kind of have to, and it kind of just glides over the floor, but like, in order to make it go left, you have to push up on it, and if you want it to make it go right, you gotta push down or something. And like I, I was trying to use it, and I ended up breaking a chair doing it. I almost, I almost, I almost took my leg off with that thing. Okay, so that's the other thing. Um, here's something else that'll get, uh, my rich uncle pissed off, is that, um, I don't want to do any cleaning jobs anymore. Nope. I don't want to do cleaning anymore. Sorry. Sorry. It's like, but, but, but the, the problem is now, is that I'm pigeonholed into doing cleaning jobs. It's like this. It's like I do it once. And now it's expected of me my whole life, you know? It's like... It's like living in love joy, okay? I got a apartment in love joy, and now I'm expected to live here for the rest of my life. And if I try to say that I'm moving, uh, I want to move to North Buffalo, well, then I get, then I, th then people get pissed off about that, you know? Oh shit. Oh man, I just spilled a bunch of water on me. Yeah, I wasn't feeling too good these last few days. I think I think I might have ate some bad chicken or something. Cause like I was saying, I did a video and I was eating like chicken during the video. And then I went to sleep. I woke up yesterday morning and I was like completely friggin' nauseous. I was weak, I was nauseous, I had the runs, and, like, I was supposed to go, and, uh, I was supposed to go get, um, my check yesterday, and fill my glasses prescription, that didn't happen, I was just so weak, and I had the runs, and I was nauseous, and, like, I st stand up, and it was like I had the flu. I don't know if it was the flu. It was probably just, I think I had food poisoning or something, but I was, um, I didn't, I didn't throw up at all. Um, and then all, all day yesterday, I was just sleeping, pretty much. Um, I had no energy. And, um. I I actually didn't never I have I actually haven't eaten anything since uh Thursday night. It's now Saturday morning. But um and I'm not even really hungry right now to be honest. Um but um what was what was I gonna say? But it's like last night I was sleeping and I, I like shit my pants in my sleep. Like I woke up this morning and I found all kinds of shit in my underwear. Cause like I was, I, 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 I had food poisoning and I was like having diarrhea and shit. And every time, every time I would fart, it came out as a shart. And I know I do fart in my sleep. So that's what happened. I woke up and my my underwear was all shitty and everything else. And 
it's it's weird because it didn't get on the on the, on the bed or anything. It just it just stayed all in my underwear. But I'm still gonna change the sheets though. Um. And then um, today I feel a lot better. I'm not I'm not weak today. I still do have the runs a little bit. Not really that much, but I can feel my my stomach churning a little bit uh, today, and just a lot of farting. I don't know, but. It's, I, I guess it's like, okay, so, I guess it's like, okay, so you're gonna, you, you, you can only, you can only shit so much until there's nothing left to shit, you know, and then after that, it just farts, you know, so I guess that's what happened. But... My rich uncle is going to be pissed off because I don't want to do cleaning jobs anymore. Okay, I said it. I don't want to do cleaning jobs anymore. That was the other reason I kind of quit at a Goodyear plant place. I don't want to do cleaning jobs anymore. And I know I'm pigeonholed into doing that kind of work. And it's going to take a lot of effort to kind of reinvent myself. Um, so I have gone on job interviews. I actually had a job interview, I don't know, maybe a week or so ago. Um, where was it? It was, it was actually on, um, oh my God, what was it? Uh, South Ogden. Um. It was a place called Capital Management. Is that right? Capital Management Services, I think it was called. Um, and it was actually a collections agency. Um, I kind of, I you know what though? I kind of want to get into something like that because I heard you can make a lot of money doing that kind of stuff. And. To be honest, like, you know how on, on video sometimes I hem and haw, I got a bad stutter sometimes, and my, 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 what I say doesn't actually come out right. I have social awkwardness. I feel that if, if I can get a job like that, like a collections agency job, I feel it might help me with with that r respect like it might help me with 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 that kind of my problem like that um so I don't know um It, it might help me within that respect. And then, um, who else? I got a, I got another, um, I got a job offer the other day. I was supposed to go in for an interview the other day, but it was supposed to be at a bank of Akron or something. And when, when I actually heard about when I, when I seen the job, it was, um, all it said was, bu like, Buffalo, okay? And I'm like, okay, so I'll apply to this. It was, it was like for a, a bank teller position. And they actually called me back, and, uh, I was asking them, where is the bank? And they said, oh, it's out in Akron. And I said, oh, well, I don't have a car and there's no buses that go out to Akron. So, um, yeah, thanks anyway. <laughs> so, um, I noticed that a lot. A lot of the good jobs are out in the suburbs. 
And I don't, I don't mean like cheat the Waga. I mean like all the way. There's the, the the good jobs are all the way out in like fucking uh, East Aurora. That's a lot of the jobs I know. It's East Aurora. I don't. I can't even get out that way. They they never even heard of buses out in East Aurora. You know, there is no jobs in actual Buffalo. They're all out in the suburbs. You ever notice that? Nothing's out in the sub. Not, nothing's in Buffalo. Everything's in the suburbs. But um, what else? I'm gonna um. So. Yeah, so right now I'm just trying to I'm just trying to you know it reinvent myself with jobs, and um, what else? Um, yeah, sorry, rich uncle, I'm not gonna do any more cleaning jobs. Okay, I don't care if that's what I've been doing all my life. Maybe I want to reinvent myself. See, it's like it's like yeah. You do it once, and now it's expected of you. Just like living in Lovejoy. It's expected of me now to always have a cleaning job. Well, I don't want any more cleaning jobs anymore. Sorry. Sorry. Me. You want to come to my house and fight me over it? Sorry. Also trying to get a girlfriend here. Sorry, rich uncle. I want to be fucking happy in my life. I'm saying this because I know it pisses you off to know that I want to be successful in life. You know why? You know why? You, you know why it pisses you off? Because then you don't have anybody to fucking laugh at anymore. I know, I know it pissed you off once I lost my virginity. Because then you can't go, Virgin. It would piss you off if you found out that I made more money than you. It would piss you off to know that I make more money than you. It would piss you off. Like you would want to come here and fight me over it. That's how much it'll piss you off. Once, uh, once, once Cuomo, uh, once Cuomo passes that, uh, that act or whatever where I can get free college or whatever, which is probably the, one of the only good things that has come out of, uh, his, his gubernatorial campaign. Or his gubernatorial administration, I should say. Probably one of the only good things that have come out of that. I'm going to go back to school, too. Sorry! Sorry! Sue me, why don't you? You know, you're, you're just... You, you, the only you, you, you talk about Scott and how he doesn't want to get a job. Maybe you discourage Scott from getting a job. You know, maybe, maybe I think that's what's going on here. You discourage Scott from getting a job because it will kill you to know that somebody is more successful than you in the family. And when you think about it, who else is 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 six, more successful? Not no one really. You got the king, king of the cops. I mean, 
Pops don't make that much anyway. They're not making six figures a year. Uh, my parents, my parents don't even work. So right now you're the most successful person in the family. And it will kill you to be dethroned from that position. But I try not, I try to be humble about it. I don't tell my parents, oh, yeah, you didn't know that I took some chick out for a date maybe, I don't know, a year ago. Oh, this is a good story, too. You heard this one before? Richie? I, um, I met this chick online, right? And, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met this chick online, right? And I took her out to, where is it? Uh, Pearl, Pearl Street Brewery and Grill. And she takes the bus. I take the bus, okay? And we met up downtown, okay? And while I was on the bus, guess who came on the bus? That's right. Fucking Scott came on the bus. And I actually didn't see him on the bus until we both got off at the same friggin' stop. Okay? And I was like, whoa, what are you doing here? And I guess he got got on near uh, the Broadway Market or something. And... Uh, He's going downtown. He's like, oh, I'm going to the library. Where are you going? I'm like, it doesn't matter where I'm going, okay? So I ended up breaking it down, and I told him, listen, don't tell Mark. Don't tell my mom or my dad where I am, okay? Because I didn't want, I didn't want my mom knowing that I was going to meet this chick downtown. Because then it'll, then it'll get forwarded. To the rich uncle. And I didn't want my information forwarded to him. Because if he found out, he would flip the fuck out. Like he always does. He would flip out. So, I kind of tried, I started making it a habit. Now. That I don't tell my parents about any job interviews... Or any kind of uh, potential uh, future wives. You know. I make that a habit. Because I don't want my information forwarded to the rich uncle. <clears throat> I, don't want my, I don't want my information forwarded. Just like. Just like. Just like you probably don't want your information forwarded to Scott. So, you know, you stop talking, you, 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 here, here's a deal, mom, here's a deal. Mom, I hope you're watching this because I'm going to say this. I got a deal for you, okay? You stop forwarding my information to the rich uncle, Okay? And I'll stop forwarding all your information to the internet. How's that sound? I'll stop making videos about you. You stop, you stop making, you stop forwarding my information to, 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 to Richie over there. And in turn, I'll stop making uh, videos about you. Okay? That's my deal. Because there's no there's no there's no reason he has to know every little detail about my life. There's no reason. There's no reason he needs to know. Ugh. I should go try to eat something. At least something light. Because I haven't eaten in, since, like, Thursday night. 
Yeah, I just get like a bowl of cereal or something. But yeah, sorry that I want to reinvent myself. Is that, a, is, that, is that a problem for you? Is that a problem for you, Richie, that I want to reinvent myself here? I'm also looking for data entry positions, collections positions, or even like customers, like, um, like what do you call it, like tech support or something, call center shit. You know, sorry, I want to reinvent my myself. Sorry, I don't want to do cleaning jobs my entire life. But now I'm pigeonholed into doing those kind of jobs. It's like, it's like I never wanted to do a cleaning job in my life. But I was so desperate for a job at one point that I just kind of did a, a cleaning job. And now it's expected of me that all my jobs now have to be cleaning jobs. You know? Like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it anymore. You know? So, sorry. Sorry, you, 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 you know? Sorry, you don't want me doing you don't want me doing actual work because you don't want to be dethroned from the most successful person on uh, in the family. And this is why I say you have narcissistic personality disorder. You know what the fuck? You know, you you just want you just it killed you to think that somebody in the family is more successful than you. It, it would kill you. It would kill you to think that Scott is more successful than you. At least Scott has a girlfriend. <laughs>